my name is Kelly, and I am one of the staff members here at Mequon Nature Preserve. Cool. Um, the Paper Power Education Center is open Monday through Friday from 8.30 until 4.30. The trails, we have um, just under six miles of trails, and the trails are open every day of the year from sun up to sundown, and it's free to the public. So I was um, giving my daughter a ride, and the first time I've lived in Wisconsin all my life, and I saw two coyotes oh. running on your property. Okay, yes, we, we spotted one a couple of months ago. Yeah. So. So be aware, there's two yes. running yes. around on your property yes. right now. Uh, we definitely were aware of one. Some of the other staff might be aware that there's more than one. Well, it's the first time in my life I ever saw a coyote yeah. in the wild, so yeah. I was kind very of interesting. thrilled. Yeah, it was great. And it was from a distance, but still. I guess a, go a good opportunity to mention that, um, so we have a, dogs are welcome on the property. Um, they do, by city ordinance, need to be on a leash, cool. which if we have um, coyotes about, yeah. you definitely would want to make sure that they're on a leash. Especially this time of year yeah. because they're like mating and stuff right, right now. Okay. And the, the male coyotes are very aggressive towards other dogs because they think they're... Yeah. You know, they're competing for mates. Sure. Okay. Well, we definitely, I mean, we've, we've, I'm not aware that we've ever had any kind of, that kind of confrontation take place here, but um, just a, a good awareness. And your name again was? I'm Kelly. Kelly Markberg. Nice to meet it's you, nice Kelly. It's nice to meet you. So I'm just going to give you the highlights of what okay. is here in the education center. Great. So it's one big square. Um, this is our hall of bugs. All of the bugs are, um, well, I should qualify that, almost all of the bugs that we have on display here are bugs that are found on the property. There are a few of them that are um, like between here and Madison, So, but for the most part they're, they're from this area, which I think is surprising considering how, how big some of them are. Yeah, so. some of those water bugs, a giant water bug, I was um, riding a motorcycle once coming down through some uh, wetlands and I had one of these actually a lot bigger than this oh okay hit my hand yeah how did that feel and you felt it it what the remnants of it went all the way up my yeah. arm <laughs> it was the grossest thing you ever had I believe know? it <laughs> I believe but it but yeah it left a black and blue spot yeah. on my hand yeah yeah it's surprising because in my head I just think that big size uh, bugs of this size some of them are like rainforest size, yeah so well praying mantis and things like that mm -hmm. those are big bugs too to hit yep absolutely talk about getting bugs in your windshield you know yeah yeah so around the corner we have um our library and you're welcome to take a look at any of the books um we have a new uh installment in that hallway it's actually a our history, um, it's a timeline wall that shows kind of what we're doing here on the property in terms of the fact that um, this land at most recently has, uh, almost all of it has been in active agriculture. So what we're doing, the mission here is to restore that land to pre-settlement, um, pre-European settler conditions. So we're, we're to include landscaping, like I mean, it wasn't well, all flat at one point. So I mean, we're actually going into um, like in these farm fields. Most of them have drain tile, so we're actually going in and breaking out drain tile and creating like our newest wetland is about four acres, and that was created. Um, oh gosh, a little over a year ago. And I mean, it's amazing when you break out that drain tile and let the land do what it wants to do. Yeah, what happens? And there's this, all of a sudden- Rejuvenation. This, this wetland. So it's wetlands, prairie, and forest. So we're planting trees. You have trails all the way through here right now or um, no? Yeah, we do have trails. I can show you a map that shows you the different legs of trails. Great. Um, and while we're talking outside, um, if you get outside, I definitely recommend going out to the tower. We have just, I saw that tower. We have the yeah. best tower. So, and there's a, one of those viewfinders up there. And on well, I have my binoculars can, with me. So. Okay. You can see forever from up there. Excellent. So. Excellent. I'd love to get a map. Can I take one yep. with me? Absolutely. It's it's not the easiest to read, but it gives you the general lay of the land. Well, that's great. 
so and how this scan is where it so we people are. know what we're doing. And it, it, this is on our website too. Oh, okay. So this I'll is steal where it from we there are. Too. <laughs> um, and depending on you know how much time people have to hike, um, you know here from here to the tower and well, you back. Have ponds and everything back in there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So this is our newest wetland in here. There's a nice little loop that goes around these. Um, do you get a lot of photographers side. coming back in? Um, we do get quite a few photographers. That's kind of my, my, my sphere of influence. Oh, okay. So I'll turn some birders on to your place. Excellent. Yeah, we have, um, we have some really active and dedicated um, bird watchers that spend time here hmm. and, and log their findings every day. Yeah, I'm not that crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I just have a big lens and I take pictures. Yeah. You know? Well, and I'm going to throw this out there too because we are we're a nonprofit, so we don't get any tax dollars. We depend on donations and grants and that kind of thing. And you don't charge for um, entry or anything. That's correct. Yep, it's all through donations and grants. So you must have a heck of a marketing team then. Well, we have um, we have some very good people working on on uh, all of those activities. Hmm. So. Hmm. Um, well, if you don't mind, I'd just like to wander around. Yeah. So I'm going to point out both classrooms are in the opposite corners. Okay. This one has the live tanks in it. Oh. So I heard bubbles, bubbles, yep. bubbles. So we've got some turtles in the corner. We have um, behind that bee curtain is a beehive. Well, I'm um, not going there. I don't. Well, I don't know what they're what they're up to. They're probably in slow motion right now. Yeah, there. probably. Some snakes and crayfish. Cool. And um, so forth, and then in the opposite corner, we have the other classroom. The yellow classroom has the taxidermy animals. Oh, excellent! And those aren't all native um, mammals, but um, they're still good learning tools. Sure, because we get you bring classrooms and stuff in here. We get between five and six thousand. Um, wow kids every year from from the immediate area or farther away um or? they're mostly from the area the majority of them are actually from milwaukee county hmm. so some of the kids that come here have never have never been in the woods sure so hmm. it's kind of cool excellent um and then back in the kitchen we have a few more tanks we have our crayfish condo you'll want to check that out that Where's shows that? um it's i'll find the it opposite hallway is our kitchen. Okay, so no, you'll nobody's see it. gonna like tackle me if I want to. Nope. Okay. Nope. And then um, the couple other there's a, a tank the tank back in the kitchen with the the Blandings turtle. That's Myrtle, so say hi. Myrtle, Myrtle the turtle. Yes. Yes. Myrtle's usually pretty social for the most part. So um, and then this is just staff hall uh, offices down this way. So well, fantastic. So that's it. It was my so, pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for stopping. Enjoy your day. So, thank you. Same to you. You've been spectacular. <laughs> well, thanks. So how about that? After shooting this video, I went to their website and found out that Kelly Winkler is development and marketing assistant for the Mequon Nature Preserve. I want to thank Kelly for spending so much time with me and being so informative and frankly so sparkly. You were great in this video and I hope it brings some people to your door and some donations to your pot. Thank you so much Kelly.